All right, here's my next boiler. My name is Ross Bendixson. And my phone number is 206-948-0770. This boiler has a 24-inch uh, firebox. The boiler itself is 20-inch diameter by 32 inches tall. And it's made of 3 8 steel. And it uh, has 22 inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. We've got here the water sight glass. I always have it about halfway up there. It can go down lower. Tricox, which I only have two. Really nice whistle. I'll blow it here if you turn down your volume. Beautiful. With the stack, it's about 80 inches tall. There's an AC water pump on it. I got a bucket of water there. I fill the boiler first with uh, just a clip on garden hose. And then uh, these pumps are good up to 160 pounds of pressure. And always keep the hose and uh, the cord, the power cord, there's a switch on it right here, away from the firebox. It'll melt it right away. And I'll turn it on. And this is your airlock valve. If there's any air in the line, get that out first, and then everything pumps right into the boiler. It's slowly going down. Very well. You don't want to add too much water at a time, though. That's about enough, you know. Just you kill the steam if you do too much. It's got a little switch right here. And just keep that away from that firebox. See, the sight glass has gone way over half now. Just that little bit of time, which is okay for the, what I'm doing here. This is your blower valve. Turn that on, and it blows steam up. You can see the fire moving pretty actively with that blower going. It draws a lot of steam. Ash pan is right down here. And I, uh, when I put wood or coal in, I get it started if I've got steam up. I'll be running coal in it later. This is Utah nut coal. Of course, it's not little. It's some of the pieces are as big as a football. And I just break it up. The pop-off valve is set at 100 pounds. I can go up to 125 on this safely, and I'll pop off the valve later. These valves, I'll remove this valve. Once I know that pop-off valve works properly, if not, I'll take the pop-off valve off of it and I'll put another one on. Same with this one. This uh, whistle is great. It has no leakage at all, so I'll remove this valve later as well. My email address is anacortesteam at gmail.com. A-N-A-C-O-R-T-E-S S-T-E-A-M at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. And again, my phone number is 206-948-0770. This is the third of four boilers I'm building right now. There's only one more after this. I know there's several people interested in it. Uh, I don't know if it'll be gone here. But then I'll only have one more after this. Oh, and your engine out valve is right here. So you just took up the I've got two valves on it because I'm testing this blue valve. And uh, so engine out is right there. It's half inch. You can uh, go up or down 
far as uh, your engine size, you know, with a reducer on it. And I've got one uh, steam hose that I can put together for this for this boiler. Anyway, thanks for watching.